Now descend down deeper. As I tell you a story, as you get comfortable, and you can begin to clear your mind, of all your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Clearing your mind, of any expectations you might have, of what you are about to listen to. No just visualize, feeling the words flow through your body, and your thoughts as you listen to me talk to you. As you listen to my voice, you will hear me talking to you, slowly and steadily, moving you into deeper, and deeper depths of thoughts and feelings. So as you listen to me you will find that you have no desire, or need to move while you listen to me. Because in a moment, I'm going to ask you to imagine certain things. But it doesn't matter, if you find that you can't, imagine all the things I'm asking of you. You might even find your mind wandering a bit, but you will always return to my words, as you continue to listen to my voice, but that doesn't matter either. The words that you are listening to are going to continue to relax you, and it really doesn't matter if you don't remember every word you hear, because very soon now, you are going to be much more relaxed than you have ever known. Now imagine yourself standing on the very top of the green hill, on a tropical island. You can feel the warmth of the sun on your head, and your shoulders. You can see the long grasses around you, moving slightly in the gentlest of breezes. When you look down the hill, you can see a narrow winding path that disappears into a small forest. Now beyond the forest, you can see the ocean, with sunlight from the clearest of blue skies, glancing off the tops of the waves in the bay. So that the whole ocean seems to shimmer and sparkle before you. You begin to move lazily, and easily down the path, with the ferns and grasses brushing gently against your legs as you pass. You just catch the faint smell of salt borne in on the breeze, and you become aware of the distant sound of the ocean on the shore. Maybe hear seabirds calling faintly, from a long way off. You marvel at the deep sense of calmness, and tranquility that sweeps over you as you move on down, and down towards the forest. You are moving so easily, so effortlessly, you feel almost as though you're floating on air. And in no time at all you find yourself drifting through the trees, their leaves closing in overhead to form a canopy. Their branches making an irregular pattern against the clear blue of the sky. It's pleasantly cool in the forest and the gentle sound of birds singing, echoing faintly, and the scent of the trees and the undergrowth relaxes you even further. And as you move easily into the inviting depths, you are becoming lazier and lazier with each step you take. You can hear a stream somewhere, its gurgling sound gradually mingling with the sound of the ocean. And as you follow the winding path down, and down towards the beach that you know is in front of you, weaving through the trees and brushing aside the occasional piece of foliage. Until, quite suddenly, you feel the warmth of the sun on your head, and your shoulders again, and you find yourself on a beautiful beach. A beautiful golden shoreline, sweeping away in a gentle curve in front of you, to a distant point where the trees seem to come right down to the shore, so that their branches actually seem to overhang the ocean itself. You can feel the sand warm between your toes, as you stroll lazily across the broad beach to the water's edge. The sand becomes a darker golden color when you get there, and you enjoy the change to a moist firm coolness beneath your feet as you wander along the shore, leaving a lazy trail of footprints in the sand behind you. Every so often a larger than usual wave sends rivulets of water foaming up and around your feet and as they recede, you notice how the sand is washed away from tiny colored pebbles, glinting like jewels in the sun. The smell of the ocean, the sunlight on the waves, the sound of the water hissing over the sand. All these things seem to create a sense of timelessness for some unknown reason. 
and you find yourself in a comfortable position, a grassy hollow maybe, to just sit and gaze out across the rolling depths to the horizon. Trickling warm, golden sand idly through your fingers. There's a faint haze which makes it difficult for you to see exactly where the sky stops, and the ocean starts. But and as you try to fathom it out, you see a small white cloud appear from somewhere near the horizon. It comes towards the island quite quickly, growing larger as it approaches, until it's immediately overhead. It is the largest, fluffiest, whitest cloud you can ever remember. And you somehow know, just by instinct, that you can let all your worries, all your cares, all your fears, just drift up towards this large white cloud. You can actually see them drifting away from you in a long slow spiral up into the clure. Maybe like smoke from a bonfire. Just spiraling away from you towards this large white cloud. The cloud absorbs all your worries into itself, swallowing up all your fears and anxieties. Becoming steadily darker all the time, until just as it reaches its darkest, just as the last part of that spiral of your worries and cares disappears inside it. The sun bursts through. Dispelling every one of your worries, every one of your fears and anxieties, to the edges of the universe. Leaving you totally relaxed and perfectly at ease with yourself, without a single care in the world. Now, all your troubles and cares having floated away from you. You settle yourself down into a comfortable position, and just drift off into a deep and relaxing sleep. And while you sleep, you have a dream. You dream you are walking down a long corridor, stretching away in front of you in a long gentle curve. So long in fact that you see a not actually see the end of it. But you know that this corridor is in the very depths of your subconscious mind. In the part of your mind that knows just what to do and just how to do it. As you begin to move along this beautiful corridor, becoming even more relaxed, even more lazy, you realize that time and space are beginning to lose their meaning. Slowly the walls of the corridor seem to dissolve, leaving you in a large room. The room is full of a gentle golden light that relaxes you still further and you suddenly realize, with a surge of inspiration and pleasure that what you once saw as the limits of a regular vanilla life are merely stepping stones to a greater depth of understanding. It suddenly dawns on you, with a surge of joy and anticipation, that what once seemed to you to be the limits of your personality, of your skills and abilities, are nothing more than stepping stones, to becoming an even better person. One wall of this room is like a huge television screen with words and images flashing across it too fast for you to see. You realize that this is information being transmitted to different parts of your mind and body. You use your mind and will it to stop and as you do so, the screen clears and the word ready appears in large flashing all capital letters. Your mind is now prepared and receptive to everything I am going to say to you. And everything I say to you will be accepted and acted upon by your subconscious, because everything that I tell you is true. Tell yourself that now, everything that I your hypnotist tells you is true. I have no reason to lie to you, so you trust my words and my actions more, and more each day because everything I tell you is true. Everything I say to you is true, and it is having a steadily increasing effect upon the way you think, and the way you feel, and the way you behave. Over the coming days, and weeks, and months even, because the more you think about the true things I tell you, the more they make sense to you. Each time you sleep or even close your eyes, these things I tell you, become more real to you, because in closing your eyes and sleeping, you are agreeing to the things I tell you. 
You agree with me that what I say is real and true and that I would never lie to you. You agree with me that you want me and only me to hypnotize you every day. Each time you sleep or nap, and in closing your eyes again, and again, you agree that the things I tell you are real, you agree with me, that you have no reason to doubt me, creating the desired changes, in your subconscious mind, that you want so much. The changes you want me, to make in you, because you will always consciously remember, that you want me to make whatever changes in you that I want. You are now ready, and you will now go even deeper, and you will descend, deeper and deeper into your subconscious mind. Going deeper and deeper with each word you hear from me. With each breath you take you will slide deeper down, never consciously remembering the words you are hearing, but always subconsciously processing the information, to make the changes I want in you. Whenever you hear me say the word descend, you will enter your hypnotic trance for me, and each time I say descend, you will relax deeper and deeper into your trance. Hearing the word descend from me, helps your mind go quiet and relax even more. You will only descend when I tell you to descend. You only want to descend for me and no other. When I tell you to descend you will count down and go deeper into your mind. Your subconscious mind is awake, and hearing my words, understanding everything, while your conscious mind remains very relaxed and peaceful. You can relax peacefully, because your subconscious mind is taking charge, and when this happens, your conscious mind, can drift away, and let your subconscious do all the listen. Your subconscious mind knows, and because your subconscious mind knows, your conscious mind does not need to know, and can stay asleep, and not mind while your subconscious mind, stays wide awake. You have much potential in your subconscious mind, which you don't have in your conscious mind. You can remember everything, that has happened with your subconscious mind, but you cannot remember everything, with your conscious mind. You can forget so easily, and with forgetting certain things, you can remember other things. Remembering what you need to remember, and forgetting what you can forget. It does not matter if you forget, you need not remember. Your subconscious mind, remembers everything that you need to know, and you can let your subconscious mind, listen and remember, while your conscious mind sleeps and forgets. Keep your ears locked on to my words, and listen with your subconscious mind, and when you are listening very, very carefully, your head can now say yes, I agree. As you continue to listen to my words, with your subconscious mind, your conscious mind sleeps, deeper and deeper, and deeper, and deeper. Let your conscious mind, stay deeply asleep, and let your subconscious mind hear my words. In a moment, I'm going to relax you more completely. In a moment I'm going to begin counting backwards from 50 down to 1. The moment I say the number 50 you will allow your mind's eye to open and see all that your subconscious mind is hearing. The moment you hear the number 50, you will, in your mind's eye, see yourself at the top of a grand set of stairs. The moment you hear the number 49, and each additional number after, you will simply move down those stairs, counting each step with me, relaxing more completely with each. At the base of the stairs is a large feather bed, with a comfortable feather pillow. The moment you hear the number one you will simply sink into that bed, resting your head on that feather pillow. 48, taking another step, 47, step, 46, step down, 45 you can see the stairs, and you can feel, yourself moving down the stairs, step 44. Step 43. It is good to move down these stairs, 42, 41, it is easier to move down these stairs than to stand still. 
40, down, 39, step down, 38, you might as well continue descending, it is comfortable there at the bottom. 37, down, 36, 35, 34, 33, relaxing with each step down, 32, 31, the deeper you go the more comfortable you are. 30, 29, with each step down, you feel no other path but down. 28, 27, 26, descend deeper, 25, 24, each time you hear the word descend, you will begin your path down these step. 23, 22, 21, with each step down as you relax and descend further, you feel all thoughts drift away from you, your mind, becoming more and more empty. 20, 19, 18 more open, more empty of thoughts. 17, 16, 15 down and down, 14, calmer of thoughts, 13, calmer of body, 12, so empty, 11 so ready, 10, so relaxed, 9, almost there, 8, when you reach the bed you will fall into a deep, deep, slumber where all there is, is my voice. 8, 7, a few more steps closer, 6, 5, 4, it is right before your beloved empty, cow, relaxed place, you long to be in. 3, 2, you step up to the bed. 1 and you begin to fall onto the bed, 0. Open, relaxed, empty of all thoughts, so deeply asleep, but hearing all of my words. When you hear or read the word descend, you head and mind, will begin to relax and empty. You will begin to count down from 50, and begin your journey down to the empty bed at the moment where you long to be. Descend is a great word to you, you look forward to return here to the quiet place in your mind and descend will take you there. Each time you come here, it will be easier for you to descend and come here. You will practice coming here as often as you get a chance to. The more you practice the better you will feel. Now place a comment and tell the world you have descend and then decide if you want to descend again. I feel good naked. My body is beautiful just the way it is. I confidently share my body with my partner. I am comfortable being naked around others. My lover enjoys my naked body. I am confident in my naked body. My body is a beautiful gift of nature. I am at ease with my nakedness. My body is attractive. I am totally relaxed when naked around others. I will feel good about my naked body. I am starting to enjoy being nude with my partner. I will develop confidence in my naked body. Being nude is starting to feel more natural and normal. I am finding it easier to just relax and share my body with my partner. My confidence in my body is improving. I am noticing that I feel more relaxed and at ease when naked. Each day I feel better and better about my naked body. I will feel secure when naked. I am developing a deep acceptance of my naked body. Being naked is the most natural thing in the world. I enjoy being naked. I have an attractive body. I love sharing my body with my partner. I completely accept and love my body. Feeling good naked comes naturally to me. I am the kind of person who is totally at ease in the nude. Being naked around other people is easy for me. I have full confidence in my naked body. My partner loves and appreciates my naked body.
It is time to wake, and we will count from 10 to 1 now. Count from 10. 9. 8. Waking slowly, more and more. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Wake now feeling great.